Hey, welcome everyone. This is Google. C this is now Docs Office Hours, and I'm going to change the title here. Fair enough. I may actually. No, I'll probably create a new document for our, our ongoing sessions. You know. Sure. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so I figured I thought we would want to review Wednesday's meetup. Congratulations, you know, excellent job. I need to check to see that it's okay that we end your AWS account access, as you know, because of, of costs and whatnot. So we wanted to double check that. Pull requests and final reminder on Google Season of Docs timeline. What other topics? Thank you. Zenob, I assume you've already submitted your evaluation of success and experiment experience. Yes. Yes, okay. I have. Yeah. Great. All right. I I sent to Kristen. Oh well, I'm going out of order on the agenda. I sent to Kristen and to Marky that I was submitting it last night, and then I promptly forgot. So I have to submit it today, but it okay. is due today, so I think that's still okay. Sure. Yeah. I think I don't remember the exact time, but it looked fine okay. to me. Hopefully before noon, noon Colorado time. Sure. All right. So Wednesday meetup review, comments, observations. Go ahead. Well, I think it went great. <laughs> it was uh, great to see so much interest in the topic, especially you know as we were saying earlier, it's like it's docs and it's showing like the really interesting walkthroughs. And I really liked again like how you were able to walk through and show that this is what we have. <laughs> this is how it works. I think it was great to see the questions come in and shows that people were paying attention and interested. I, I thought it went really well. Agreed. Zidab, any observations from you? Um, I don't think um, I have anything to say outside. Um, what Christina said, it was it was a great experience for me, also, and yeah, um, I liked the question and answer segment a lot. It was really engaging, yeah, which was was nice. Okay, were the questions were the questions well enough phrased, etc.? I was a little worried that the the seed questions ultimately I'm not sure were as helpful as I had hoped they would be, and um, that was one where I I don't know what you know. No, I think it's it, it it was helpful, and subsequently I think it's something you should keep because it's actually really helped me in preparing for the session because um, one thing to consider is um, the mentors are not the only people that are going to be asking questions. Even attendees are also likely to ask questions. So it's good to prepare even beyond the seed questions just for any questions that might pop up eventually. So yeah, it was helpful for me. Good. Okay. Very good. All right. So that's 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 great. We we definitely did not cover all the questions, and I guess that's a good indicator, right? Is uh, we didn't cover all the seed questions. Some of them were were not especially relevant to the to the particular audience, and and so for me that was okay. Good. All right. So I confess I was very nervous as you arrived late. <laughs> that made me very scared, but but I think we handled so, it well. I think I think I need to even explain what happened because I couldn't explain on the call yesterday. <laughs> I, I mixed it up actually. I joined the wrong. I don't know what happened. So um, Oleg sent me an invite, and the invite had you know a, a Google Meet link. Oh oh. Oh, of course, which is that, that silly default that Google does when you send a meeting exactly. invitation, it includes so, a Google, oh, oh, yeah. oh, that's an interesting. So I think it was when I joined, I realized, ah, no, I think this is wrong. Cause I know that when I joined, I waited a while. I was like, no, there's no way everybody's going to be this late for something like this. So I I went to sign into BTOP and that was where I saw the Zoom link and I joined. 
Very well, and that reminds me that I had made a mistake that Oleg detected early on and that we couldn't correct and may have cost us some attendees. Uh, I had not configured the Zoom link. I had not reconfigured the Zoom link to avoid, to skip the registration requirement. Um, and we like to not ask people for that information because some portion of them will drop off. So um, mistake to fix in the next Yeah, webinar. I remember it's asked for my login detail, my um, details when I was trying to join, right. yes. Yeah, exactly. I was wondering that too, and, and I just filled it out because I was like, I need to get in. <laughs> but, right, right, but, but, but of course, our many of our contributors or many of our audience will say, I'm not sharing that information yeah. with you, go away. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, so that that was that was a mistake on my part, and let's see others. Oh, oh, yeah. So one one embarrassment for me was the slide deck. I Mark assembled the slide deck at the last minute. Slide the the, the wrapper slide deck. Your slide deck was great, Zenob. But the wrapper slide deck with the welcome page, et cetera. And I had just completely forgotten. And don't forget that. I need to put it on my, my webinar checklist. I honestly didn't even think you were going to prepare a slide. And I initially wasn't planning to prepare a slide since I was doing a demo. I planned that I was just going to show um, everything we did on Jenkins.io, probably bring up my project reports and all that but then i figured it was a lot of information i need to kind of like um, organize it so that was why i ended up with slides just to um, kind of organize the whole presentation so there's kind of like a direction and everything is not just scattered <laughs> right very good okay any other feedback there Okay, next topic then. So Zinab, I had granted you access to my AWS organization. Um, so it's on my personal credit card, et cetera. And I assume that was what you used yesterday for the as part of the demo or are you not using it? I'm not sure if you're using it at all. No, I didn't use it for the demo yesterday, but um, uh, I haven't used it this week because um, I have a training this week, yeah. But um, I've used it, yes, for um, Jenkins on AWS I'm working on. I actually um, used it a bit, um, try to um, install Jenkins and all that on it. So yes, I've used it and I intend to still use it to finish up with the documentation I'm working on. But I don't think, um, have I accrued any costs? Because so far, I don't think, I tried to check it and it didn't show that I've used any, I'm not really used to it anyways. Um, Great, so then I need to find out what the I cost sources think, are because I don't understand the cost sources and I've got to figure out what that is. So that's good to know. Okay, so, so as far as you know, you're not using any capacity right no, now. No, no, I'm not. Okay, good. So that's that means I'm safe to, to turn off any machines that I find there. Very good, yeah. that's excellent, okay. All right, so I will I will do that. So I'm not gonna end your account access then. Let's just assume we'll, you'll continue using it. Let me know, I'll, I'll watch the expenses a little more carefully and I'll flag okay. if I'm worried about it because it's, it's if my company isn't willing to reimburse me then it's coming out of my, my Please do, more, please more plug it, but I don't think I am, but please do if you notice anything like that. Great, all right. Hey, anything else that on AWS account access, any problems you're having there, things I need to worry about? Um, no. Okay. Next topic then was pull requests. And I apologize, I still have not completed the review of this pull request. Um, I, I will hope to do this 
within the next one or two days, the doc SIG meets tomorrow in its official meeting. I would like to have this one merged before then, so I can I can have at least that part of embarrassment off my list. <laughs> Sig is tomorrow with, and this is why I care about that metrics reporting. And Mark oh, wants um, that pull request just, off his metrics. I just remembered something. Um, I wanted to speak about um, Helm, uh, oh, okay. the Helm installation, because. So, okay. Um, okay. While while I was preparing for the session, because you know the initial plan was to use um, Helm, so I I noticed there were some updates to um, the official Jenkins values file, the Helm chart, and I tried um, installing Jenkins using Helm, but for some reason I couldn't get it up. I used the manual even with um, user zero on my Windows box, I mm -hmm. couldn't get um, Jenkins to run. I had issues. So um, I'll okay. still need to do further investigation and find out if the update has changed um, anything major that's affecting it or if we need to update anything in the documentation to make it work. So, so that's, a, that's a a, an interesting one. I heard that we recently rolled from Helm chart version two to Helm chart version three on the Jenkins Helm chart. Mm -hmm. And I assumed that you had originally documented with Helm chart, the, the 2.x version. Was yes. that assumption? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So need to revisit the Helm instructions based on latest Helm chart. Good, very good. Okay, so your timing is perfect. So, so this also pulls in an interesting thing about how do we make sure our documentation stays current? So when big changes like this go through, I think that our SIG needs to make sure that we are aware and I guess like make sure we can still run through everything. So I don't know if that needs to be added to like process or something just like our SIG needs to watch. Cause yeah, like if it is a pro or if it doesn't need to be changed, right? Like we don't want it to stay out of sync and then we have the problem of documentation not working anymore. Yeah, so yeah. should we, I mean, mm -hmm. maybe I, I like that because maybe what we ought to do is include the doc sig meets once a month. Mm -hmm. And what if that doc sig had a report, a checklist on it, which says right now it's got a check, uh, a checklist of, of metrics that it reports uh -huh. things extracted from various Grafana images, instances, et cetera. What if we added two checklist items that say we verified the helm install works. We verified the, um, one to one of the tutorials works with Docker, th those kind of things. I mean, that that seems like a good safety check. Yeah, I was just thinking like how making sure that when something big like that happens, because I, I, I mean, I don't really know offhand how often things get changed that would break, but it, it's good to know, especially with something that large, that um, we should watch for it. Because yeah. yeah, it was a lot, you know, a lot of work to write all that stuff up and then have it <laughs> change on you. And then it's like, oh no, all that work you just did was um, needs to oh, be mm -hmm. redone. You know, it's yeah. like we're just like, you know, checked and it's like it would be a shame for it to get out of date. Considering most of the upfront work was done already. So. Right. And periodically that it works, still works. Yeah. Yeah, good. I like that. And maybe, maybe what it should be, because I'm not sure I'm waiting to sign up to do eight hours every month to check right. <laughs> all the tutorials and all the Helm charts. Right. But maybe what we do is some rotating install where we say every month, one one of one sixth or every month we spend two hours somebody you know invest an hour or two of testing and in that hour or two check things that we think are worth checking mm. right like if anything major was updated so okay 
And I'll yes. be happy to be part of this check. Great. Installation. Just cause. Right. I think I think that that's a very healthy idea because uh, well, it's it's awkward when new new readers, when new users come in and say, Oh, feedback on the page says the documentation no longer works. Right. That and hurts. then people stop looking at it and it's like, oh no. <laughs> so. Yep. Good. Very good idea. So I'll let me add that one to add docs testing status report because I think I think that's a that's a healthy idea as one and then we regularly check with it, each other here in in our in our meeting in our office hours yeah good okay Anything else, Zenob, on Helm installation instructions? No, that's it. Then Google season of docs timeline. So Zenob, you had reported your oops, you finished, you, you've submitted your, your evaluation. Yes. Excellent. Okay. Oh, then I had one more, which was December 17, Google season of docs are retrospective. That's and we'll good. do that next week on in this session. And I'll submit that one. Anything else? Nothing for me. All right. Congratulations. Now, Zinab, in terms of, I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording now. I think we're finished with this.